Hello there. This is a regular piezo passive violin. In other words, it's got no electronics built into it. The signal is directly from the piezo, which is underneath the bridge. And that's transmitted down a cable. So I'll play you a quick tune. Okay, now that's the sort of sound that you get before you do anything with it. Now there's a certain thing called an impulse response. It's connected with convolution um, technology. In other words, you can make a sound coming from a violin like this sound like an acoustic violin. How do we do that? Well, I made a whole video explaining how to make impulses from an acoustic violin. But what I'm going to do now is play it with the impulse. There we are. There's a huge difference, I think you'll agree. And what I'm using to achieve that is an effects pedal. Just put that violin down and I'm going to show you the effects pedal. Just take it offline. Now this is the effects pedal that I'm using. It's one made by TC Electronics and this stores impulse responses. Now it comes with a shed load but for violin they're not really much use because they're all to do with guitar amplifiers and guitar bodies. So they're not much use for us as fiddle players. So we've got to make our own. And as I say, I'm, I made a whole video about that, so I will leave a link in the description for this video that you can go and look at and discover, discover for yourself exactly how to make impulse res responses from your acoustic violin. I've stored about four or five on here at the moment. And the beauty of this pedal is... I can change quite quickly the different type of violin bodies that I've stored. Now it's also very simple. It's matchbox toy size really. It's quite small. I like it because it's simple. On off switch that just um, bypasses the impulse response. A knob on there which is volume. Nice and simple. And there are two buttons. Let me just make sure you can see those there. Get those in the camera. Two buttons. So you press those. Up comes an EQ. Now, that's um, the high EQ. So you can fiddle around with that. You can either add some or subtract some from the top end of the signal. And my guess is you'd want to take a little bit out. I might just filter out. A little bit up the top end and then I can go on to the other button and it brings me a low cut. I think it's below 100 Hertz so that's useful with electric violins because the thump on the bow tends to occur below about 100 Hertz 
So you can reduce that right down if you wish. There you could go all the way. So it's got a little bit of EQ built in, which is nifty. And you can store your own impulses, responses. So you can get quite an acoustic sound from a passive electric violin, which in my book is absolutely superb. I can take this out now, I can use this, and I can get a fairly acoustic sound. And then if I want to do extra things like add chorus or delay, I can do. Now you will have noticed I did add a little bit of reverb to my demonstration. And um, I added the same amount of reverb for both the dry signal and the wet signal. Dry and wet, if you're not sure what that means, it means basically the dry is where the button is switched off and the wet is where the button is switched on. So in other words, you're using the full effect of the pedal. What else can I say about it? Not a lot really. It works from um, a, power, a power unit. You have to plug it in. It's 9 volt, negative tip. Um, but I think I'm going to try my battery pack on it, see if I can run that with a, with a standard effects battery pack as well. So it means I'll be so, totally self-contained for those kind of gigs where you just want to roll up and start play. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye for now.